Alright, buddy. Let's figure this out. <clears throat> we uh we got a sound issue, bud. So, so that's weird. So you guys can hear me just fine then? Okay. So you can hear me and Sorry. Let's try it again. Give me a little bit of sound. Make sure your mic's not off. So I'm loud and clear, so apparently we're having like a weird sound thing. You mind hopping off and coming back on there, my brother? Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hop off. So apparently it's just me tonight. And hello. I hope. Um. You good? Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, apparently, we got to get uh, new sound going, so that, that that's exactly where we are. Uh, we got a pretty cool show for you guys tonight. Obviously, I'm in the back room. We're getting ready to go and getting all squared away. Um, Alexander, buddy, you know what? Doomsday Clock definitely sucks, uh, but uh, no new names. Uh, yep, in the green room, Barrett, Barrett, what's up? Hope you guys are doing great tonight. Uh, we're just literally waiting for my man Levi to come back online. And uh, we kind of go from there. I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you guys are uh, staying warm. And we got Levi back in the house, so we're going to try him again. Are you? Take two. Okay, I'm coming oh, through. Yeah. I'm coming through. Yeah. Are awesome. you back? Well, welcome hey, you're back. to the Tuesday okay. Night Phoenix live show. Thanks for uh, dealing with us through some technical difficulties, guys. We always appreciate that. Uh, leave it to me to find a technical difficulty, even when in the test run there wasn't one. But rest ye assured, I can find a technical difficulty or even make one sometimes. But we've got some awesome uh, books lined up for you guys today, so let's just dive right on into it. We're going to be started with uh, some DC books, so let's roll that intro. Oh, sorry. Here we go. Oh, my bad. My bad. All right, that's all you. All righty, kicking things off with DC with Batman Catwoman. Continuing the Tom King story. This is like a glimpse into the past, the present, and the future of the DC universe. Before Future State was cool, they were doing it with uh, Batman Catwoman. So if you are wanting to see why is Catwoman after the Joker and what happened to the daughter of Bruce and Selina and all sorts of cool things, you can read it here in Batman Catwoman issue number three out of 12. I'm almost positive it is in fact 12 so this is the a cover we've also got the b cover here and last but not least is the c cover so we got a b and c if you're wanting a whole set of it you can grab it or if you're just wanting one to read the story check it out it's tom king some people love tom king and i'm one of those people i think there are a few people in the industry who write superheroes out of costume like tom king can i think he's ex excellent at writing the alter ego selves so one about the relationship of bruce and selena He's really good at Check it out. Highly recommend. Speaking of Catwoman, we've got Catwoman Future State number two, the A cover right there, or the B cover. I don't know why what, or what tactical advantage having like a shoulder breathing pad does, but you know, there, there it is, just on Catwoman. Uh, so Catwoman Future State number two here at Phoenix Comics. we got the A and the B if you are wanting one you and or... Is it weird on sound? Up. Are we all right? Weird on sound? Maybe. Kind of, sort of, not really. No, I I'm think we're doing good. okay. I was just making sure right. that uh, sounds good. Sweet. Uh, we have the next Batman issue four. This should conclude it. I believe it is a four-part miniseries. Uh, so the next Batman issue four ends with this cover, with cover A, or arguably one of the coolest covers of DC at all times is the Jim Lee Batman. So they paid homage to the cover right here and recreated it with the next Batman. So if you like that cover, you can get like part of that legacy right there of the Jim Lee Batman, but uh, the homage of next Batman. Did Jim Lee do this one? I don't think so. It kind of looks like his art, though. Yes? All right. I'm, I'm hearing, yes, this one was done by Jim Lee, so that makes it double cool. 
because he's doing his own art a second time. Um, so this is, if I were to recommend a DC book of the week, this would be uh, one of the most ones I would recommend right there. Future State, the next Batman, number four, the Jim Lee cover, the B or the A cover right there. A and B or just B or just A right there. Future State, the next Batman, number four. Immortal Wonder Woman, number two, right there. The cool glowing bracers cover or uh, the, the more abstract, if you will, the B. A and B of DC Future State, Immortal Wonder Woman, issue number two. Thanks for sharing, PJ. We appreciate that. Sharing is caring, friends. Superman, Worlds of War, the A. This is Rick Tater approved. This is one that uh, I, I even saw Rick debating on if he should get of the first one. Rick Tater. Hey, speaking of Rick Tater approved, I'm going to do my own promo real quick. Um, if you come into the store and you ever wonder, what should I read? We have this brand new staff picks right here. So if you are ever wondering what the people at the store like to read, uh, you can check it out right here. It's pretty cool. Pretty neat. And right there, there's that Rick Tater approved button. Bam. And Department of Truth. Bam. Rick Tater approved. Uh, the Superman Worlds of War A or B cover. We got them both. Uh, a and B right here at Phoenix Comics. Question, how does Superman shave if you can't, like, pierce his skin? Does he have to bounce the laser off of a mirror and shave himself? Because that sounds exhausting. Uh, Shazam! DC Future State number two of Shazam. The A cover or the B cover? A and B of Shazam. Uh, Nightwing, this one will be blue approved. Nightwing is my favorite DC character, and one of my all-time favorite comic book characters is Dick Grayson. Uh, so Nightwing, Future State number two. Super excited for this one. And that really cool cardstock, the B. So A or B of Nightwing, Future State number two. We got Truth and Justice. That was very difficult for me to read there for a second. Truth and Justice. Vixen against the gods, the A cover, the A cover, or the B cover, and this doesn't have a last one, but this is our last one of the B. Uh, Nick grabbed our other one in the back before the show started, so we didn't have time to slap a last one sticker on here. So, um, isn't that canon, the mirror heat vision shave? It might be. I think it is. I think it is. Um, yeah, so night I see someone grabbing Nightwing B. Good call. That is a very cool cover. Love me some Dick Grayson and A and B on Nightwing. Truth and, Ju Truth and Justice, A and B right here. And now these are all second prints. They're those really cool Future State character design second printings. Some of the coolest comic book covers I've ever seen. We've got Immortal Wonder Woman, number one second printing. So you can get the number one and the number two and get the whole run today, A or B cover. We have Tim Drake, Robin Eternal. If you are a Robin fan, we have uh, Future State Green Lantern. I don't know what character that is. I'm going to be honest because I don't, I don't know a lot of Green Lanterns. David Nielsen berates me for it regularly because I just I don't know lanterns. I need to. It's one of my biggest things I need to start reading. Uh, and is it Jon Stewart? Yeah, John Stewart. Oh, look at me go. I, I do know who Jon Stewart is. I could have made that guess, but I didn't want to assume. I was hoping someone would correct me. So there we go. Jon Stewart on the character design, and whoever this character is. Right there. I'm assuming it's Wally West, but I could be wrong. Um, I heard someone. I didn't hear what he yelled. But uh, What's up, Matchett? Uh, you missed these books. They're awesome. See anything you want? You can grab it right there. Uh, so these are all the second printings of Future State we have right here. If you are wanting to grab some, let us know. Or if you're missing any of the other Future State uh, second printings. We have a couple left of, not all of them, but of some of them. So if you're like, yo, I wonder if they've any bit of that next Batman second printings. So let us know, because we might be able to hook us up. Message the page after this. Uh, and with the DC done, let's head into some Marvel books. Maybe. We have a transition for that. Let's head into some some Marvel books. Some Some Marvel...
All right, kicking things off, Planet of the Symbiote number two, the A cover. If you're reading all the King and Black stuff, this is a direct tie-in into that. Um, and it's like Godzilla, but a symbiote on the cover. And Nick Wasmer told me that's exactly what it is. It's Godzilla symbiote. Um, number two, cover A, or number two, cover B. Look at that. It's symbiote Godzilla. It's awesome. Hey, you look like <laughs> Look at that, because it's got symbiote Godzilla in it. Look at him. If it was symbiote King Kong, I'd be more interested. But it's fine. It's fine. Also, King Kong would win against Godzilla. You can't change my mind on that. Sorry, folks. Uh, King in Black, number four. Uh, Kaiju. No, that's a Godzilla. That's a Godzilla, Spruce. Um, King in Black, number four, by Donny Cates. And how big of a star do you have to be at, at Marvel for on the big Marvel event, King in Black? written by our very own Donny Cates, that they're actually giving an ad for Peach Momoko's upcoming thing. And it's like the exclusive prelude. So like, man, crazy. So you get the prelude and King of Black, number four, by Donny Cates. <laughs> Is Godzilla a Marvel property? I know that they used to do old Godzilla books at Marvel. That's a true story. Uh, King and Black connecting variant number four, which is the B cover. So this one connects to some of the other uh, covers here in King in Black. You get Miles and uh, Spooky Dragon Symbiote Boy and Spidey right there on the cover. And then last but not least for our King and Black is still issue four. It is the tattoo variant. This one with, with Doctor Strange. Pretty cool, like, skeletal hand to show his hand damages and all sorts of cool stuff. So the we got A... B and C right here at Phoenix Comics. King in black. Uh, all cool covers. I like the A cover the most because you get you get my man, Cyclops himself, who I'm pretty sure is why everyone's reading the event. To see what Cyclops does with, uh, with Noel. Moving on, we got Gwyn versus Carnage. I think we had, this was an older book, but it looks like it's a... Oh, it's a second printing is why. And you get that symbiote. Pretty awesome cover. This was a big time Nick Wasmer approved because he loves him some symbiotes. Symbiotes, as I believe Sony prefers us to pronounce it. Symbiotes. Uh, Gwynnum versus Carnage. And this is our very last one. Second printing of number one, if anyone's interested. Donny Cates Thor number 12. Uh, if you're not reading this title, you really should be. It's awesome and incredible. It is so good. You should really be reading Donny Cates Thor number 12. You get Donald Blake fighting with a scalpel. That's awesome. Uh, Donny Kate Thor, number 12, the A cover or the B cover. And I'm normally not a big B cover fan for most Thor stuff. Thor is a difficult character to draw. According to Dark Jack Kirby, he was actually the most difficult character to draw at Marvel, which is interesting to think about. Uh, but this is this is an awesome Thor. Look at that. He's the God of Thunder right there. Uh, so A and B for Donny Kate Thor, number 12. Iron Man, number six for a huge blockbuster character. Um, they're having difficulty with this with this line. Now, from what I've heard, people say who've read it that it's really good, um, but like it just hasn't picked up a lot of traction, like be, like uh, Marvel was thinking it would. But it is Iron Man, and like he's a ringer for them. So check it out, Iron Man number six, number six of Iron Man, Iron Fist, Heart of the Dragon. If you watched the Netflix show and said, "Wow, I wish that Iron Fist was cool," well, he is in the comics. So you should check it out with Iron Fist, Heart of Darkness, number two. Uh, Immortal Hulk, Flatline, number one. This is a one-shot, I think, but it is part of the Immortal Hulk series. Immortal Hulk being one of the best titles at Marvel right now. It's like classic Marvel. Um, Iron Man needs Kate's. Fair. Fair. Yeah, I feel like that's one of the things. They have this big-time character of Iron Man, and that's even a really cool cover. But they haven't been able to like land a star power of a creative team to grab it. But Immortal Hulk Flatline, number one, if you're reading the Immortal Hulk series, highly recommend that you continue reading it with Flatline. Spider-Woman, number nine. Number nine. She's She's got action figures. That's awesome. I just realized that. Some Marvel action figures right there. Um, Spider-Woman, number nine, if you're reading the new Spider-Man, or Spider-Woman title. Black Widow, cover A. This is a, our very last one of the A cover. It's really cool. I don't know if you can tell. She's, like, standing onto, like, billboard signs that say Black Widow. They are very neat. 
Uh, this is a really good Black Widow run. If you have not been reading it, you can grab the A cover or the B cover, Black Widow versus the Xenomorph, because Xenomorphs are tight. Check it out right here, Xenomorph. Um, the Black Widow B cover or Black Widow A, very last one that we have in stock. Spider-Man Miles Morales getting punched in the face by what I hope is Kingpin, because I love that, man. Um, but the Spider-Man Miles Morales cover A, um, Spider-Man Miles, or Spider-Man Miles Morales cover B. And that is our very last one for that Spider-Man cover. So you can get A and or B right here at cover price, as always. Which, by the way, if you haven't signed up for a poll box, what are you waiting for? Get on the poll box. Uh, like and subscribe us on all of our social media accounts. Follow us on our website. All those good things. Social media plug here. Social media plug there. It's awesome stuff. But all seriousness, you should because we put out a lot of content. We put out so much content that I work at the store and I forget about the things that we put out, which is why I have my bell notifications turned on. So make sure you do that so we can follow us on all the cool stuff. What's up, man? Okay. Apparently, apparently the right. Rictator's coming out. Yeah, I'm coming out to you, brother. All right, all right. This is a this is a special announcement right here, folks. Yeah. So look at you. You can't beat that. All right. Are you are you wanting to hop on mine? Oh, why do we have three screens? I don't know. We got a bunch of screens. Yeah, look at us. Just checking it out. Oh, that's loud. Never mind. Oh, my hair looks <laughs> awesome. It does, dude. I'm going Super Saiyan. All right, I'm off. Look at Super Saiyan. Anyway, Rick's gonna give us a special announcement. It's going to be cool. Or is it not? And he makes me look like a fool. But it's fine. It's fine. It, is, is Rick going to say something? Leaving us all in anticipation. In the meantime, let's keep on looking at comic books. That's why you people are here. Not to hear this crazy Rick man talk or something. Let's, let's switch back to my... Uh-oh. One day they're going to make this very easy. Like this... For other people, but for me, here we are. Uh, moving right along, we had A and B of that. We had A and B of Miles. We got Savage Avengers. It's a King and Black tie-in. You get Conan the Barbarian and uh, Deadpool doing a tea time toast. What more do you want in the Savage Avengers cover A or cover B of Conan fighting uh, the symbiote uh, dragon? The symbiote dragon right there. Savage Avengers number 18 A. And B cover. Check it out. Uh, Champions Outlawed number four on the run with the X Men. I love those guys. Love those guys. Uh, but Champions is a cool. Well, hang on. What are they doing with Cyclops? I know it says with the X Men, but that is clearly the Cyclops from the X Men Blue story arc, and that is a different alternate reality of Cyclops. And he went back to his own timeline. Figure your stuff out, Champions. Unless this is a prequel, then it's fine. Moving on. Modoc Head Games at number three. This is the very last one. And he's getting his head spatula. That looks terrible. Ugh. Ugh. I don't like that. But that's the very last one if you are wanting to read Modoc Head Games before. Isn't that a Hulu show coming out? Isn't it? I don't know. Could be wrong. But check it out. Uh, Modoc Head Games number three. Uh, Captain America number 27. Uh, guys, I'm, I, I know I joke about this, but this is true. If you are not reading this run on Captain America, it is incredible. Cannot recommend it enough. Todd Nessie Coates is doing a blowout job. Like, some of the best solo Captain America stuff I've ever read. Um, it's great. And Red Hulk just came back, spoiler alert, in the line. And so you get Thunderbolt Ross, you get Sharon Carter, you get Falcon, you get Bucky. You get, like, it's, it's so, so good. Uh, you should definitely be checking it out. So, uh, so pick it up with the A cover. Or if you're like, yeah, but I'd want a cool cover to read it, you can pick up the Xenomorph cover um, uh, of Captain America number 27, the B cover. Cap versus the Xenomorph, pretty awesome. All right, X-Men Legends. This is a line that I'm pretty excited for. Um uh, this is a, they are in Marvel inviting back a bunch of old X-Men creators to finish off storylines that they never got a chance to fill out. So this ex one is taking place in the 90s, as the cover would suggest. Uh, nobody knows exactly what the story is going to be, but this is cover A for X-Men Legends number one. This is a big time blue approved book. You should check it out. Um, 
But in the meantime, if you don't like cover A, you can also check out cover B with the man, the myth, the legend, Cyclops, Scott Summers, the greatest character Marvel has ever created. Maybe. Um, what's up, Mike Becker? Um, so check it out uh, with Cyclops on the B cover. Uh, X-Men Legends C cover. You get the cool like OG X-Men come turning into the giant size X-Men team. Very neat. Check it out. X-Men Legends C cover. Or uh, the man, the myth, the legend himself once again. Scott Summers as Cyclops with Gene and Havoc. The lesser of the Summers brothers, but that's all right. So we got A, B, C, and D of X-Men Legends here at the shop. This one's my personal favorite cover because it's got my man on it. It's Cyclops. He's awesome. He's the best. Uh, so, yeah, check it out. Highly recommend it. Moving on to some indie books. If we have a transition for it, let's check out some indie books. Maybe. Do we have a transition for indies? I guess not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Caught me walking at somewhere else. Uh, indie book starting with Power Rangers number three. It's the bank. It's the the blank cover. Cyclops suck. Get out of here, Mister Macabre. You don't know. You haven't read. Read every X Men from number one in the '60s to modern day and see if your opinion stands. All I'm gonna say. All I'm gonna say. Uh, Power Rangers number three. The blank cover. The blank cover. Um, Shadow Doctor number one. It's a brand new series from AfterShock Comics. It's about a doctor in the sh shadow when it's Chicago. I don't know. I have no idea. But why is it pronounced Chicago and not Chicago? Like, tell me why. Why is it not Chicago? That's that's the real mystery that this comic book may try to try to answer. Stranger Things, Dungeons and Dragons. Love me some Dungeons and Dragons. This is our very last one. It is um, number four of four, finishing up the miniseries of Stranger Things, Dungeons and Dragons. Number four. Check it out. Uh, Hollow Heart, another new number one from Vault Comics. It's about a heart that's hollow and a robot, maybe. I don't know. It's Andy Bucks. You, you get what you get from the cover. We Live, number five. Once again, our very last one here at the shop, if you are wanting to check it out. Um, that will just make you not like Cyclops in five different runs. Listen here, Spruce. No, it'll make you appreciate, appreciate Marvel and the absolute dynamite character of Cyclops. Uh, anyway, we live number five, last one here in the shop. Uh, Vault Comics, once again, with L, Hollow Heart. Oh, hey, my gosh, it's the same book. I don't know why those were in different. I, yeah, what do I know? This is the A cover. This is the B cover. Big Time did not even realize those were the same books, but that's an awesome cover. That's like an old school Marvel or DC cover. That's awesome. Big time. Get that cover, too. Or if you haven't gotten it yet, that cover is super cool. Young Hellboy. It's a boy from hell, and he's young, and he's got a big hand, and he fights demons and crime and Nazis. In the A cover. Or the Harambe cover. The B cover. With uh, Young Hellboy, The Hidden Land. Number one of four. Check it out if you are a Hellboy fan. Hollow Heart again. Hey, we had another one of those. There's another Hollow Heart. Why were these all over the place in the back room? I'm very confused. But Hollow Heart, number this one. If you're wanting this one, we're going to call this one the C cover. It's the Red Skull cover or the Pink Skull. Check it out right here. Uh, Hollow Heart. Abbott, 1973, number two from Boom Studios. It's about this girl who's got a gun in her purse. So you best be careful. Abbott, 1973. Ha ha, number two. Yep, issue two. I know how to read issue two of the Anthology series of Ha Ha. It is a hot, hot series. If you are trying to get not first prints, I would recommend hopping on this fast. I think we have exactly two of each one. So if you are running Ha Ha. Hot key, the A or B. The A or B of Ha Ha, issue number two. Uh, the Picture of Everything Else, Issue 2. This guy looks like he just released the Kraken. Um, wow, you saying it does not make take much to confuse you. I'm very confused by that comment. 
Figure it out, Jimmy. Uh, bite size, number three of four. The pug is very concerned because bites are chasing him. Check it out. Bite size, number three of four. And, uh, and yeah, we are almost at the end of it. We are uh, the last couple indie titles. The picture of everything. Hey, that's that book. Picture of everything else. The B cover. You can see his pelvis in a weird Mr. Macabre way. Um, check it out. Issue two. Savage. Uh, do you have everything else number one? Uh, we sure might. How's that for a semi-helpful answer? Uh, Savage number one. This dude's in a jaws of what looks like a dragon or something. You should check it out. Savage number one from Valiant Comics. Right there. All right. This is a hot key of hot keys. The last Ronin. First <laughs> Two of the last Ronin, and this is a uh, a first printing. So if you are wanting to get a first printing on it, check it out right here, um, or an an A or a B, last Ronin. There we go. There we go. I'm, I'm going to guess a lot of people are wanting to snag that. Um, so make sure if you are wanting that that you keep on putting in the comments. We don't have a ton of them in the back, but if you're wanting them, definitely hop on it. Uh, so we got a couple trade paperbacks. I'm going to fly through, leaving that last Ronin kind of in the screen as well. Starting with Strange Academy. Um, Strange Academy is an awesome series. I don't care what, what, what Mr. McCobb says. It's really cool. It's like Hogwarts, but for magic at uh, Marvel. Hogwarts is for magic. I'm very confused. But check it out. You get the first uh, chunk. I think it's one through six. Yep, one through six of Strange Academy right there in a cool bite-sized format. Bleed Them Dry, a ninja vampire tale. That's a lot. Uh, catch it one. There it is, volume one. You can grab it. And last but not least is the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. There you guys go. Check it all out. Um, uh, Spruce Wayne grabbing a Strange Academy trade paperback. Good call. Good call, Spruce. If you like Spruce, grab one of them Strange Academy ones. All right, on to the bonus table. Now, last week, uh, the bonus table was incentives. And Rick looks like he's got an announcement, so I'm going to let Rick talk. Rick, off to you. Unless you're not wanting to talk. I actually don't have an announcement. I was just uh, just making some changes here so I could watch the bonus table and get you guys all squared away. Uh, oh, nice. Looks like uh, PJ is wanting that uh, cat shit one is hilarious. Obviously, what what's what was the name of that book again? That was uh, that was cat shit one. Hmm. Okay, <laughs> all right. I just I just want to make sure I got it right. I mean, it's. It's it, it could be hard to say. I'm I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Are you, yeah, dude. Are you ready, ready for you? I'm ready for the day. Let's do it. I forgot I made that transition. I did a good job on that one. All right, so last week you did you did, did. an amazing job. Yeah, there's Macabre's favorite character, by the way, Doyle Dormammu. There he is. Yeah. Um, but last week we did. Um, last week we did incentives for crazy discounts, and y'all seem to like it. So we're gonna try it again. Starting with Radiant Black number one for four dollars for the one in ten. That is literally cover price. That is such a good deal that I even grabbed one. We've got a couple of these guys. We got I think three of them left after I snagged one. Um, also Radiant Black is just an awesome book. I, I read it last week. It's really good. Highly recommend it. So the 1 in 10 variant is literally $4 if you're interested in it. $4 for the 1 in 10. That is 60% off, and it looks like at least one person is snagging it. But also, if, uh, if you want another Radiant Black crazy good deal, you can get the 1 in 25 for only $10. That's sweet, sweet incentive. That should be a $25 book, straight up 10 bucks for y'all if you're watching the Phoenix Comics live show. Uh, pre-sale show because we appreciate y'all and we want to hook you guys up with some good deals so one in 25 for only ten dollars that's crazy you could get both radiant blacks for less than 15 a total of 14 dollars it's awesome what, what are you here for radiant black one in 25 good get good get we've got exactly one of these guys left highly recommend y'all hopping on one and or both of these i grabbed that one because it's for cover price i ain't not getting it and it's also uh, a uh, hot. Yeah. I'm just yeah. saying. 
Yeah, it is. And if you were wanting the other ones, we still have those, folks. We have just a couple of all the different covers. So grab grab the covers while you can because people are saying this could be the next spawn, basically. This guy could be the next spawn. Um, moving on, we got Homesick Pilots 1 in 50 for 20 bucks. So if you are wanting that uh, fancy, glossy, shiny Homesick Pilots 1 in 50, you can get it for only 20 dollars here that is uh what 60 percent off am i thinking right 60 percent off um check it out homesick pilots one in 50 for only 20 dollars all right on to uh on to one of the best on to one of the bests uh looks like we got almost a fight over who's snagging at this time uh good get we have x-men legends x-men legends number one uh for only ten dollars for the one in 25 variant one in 25 for only 10 bucks i'm going to move that that way we can see cyclops and all of his glory because i know that that's why most people are going to try to pick this book up uh right there all right this is this is my own personal hot take i don't really like the grant morrison costumes i know a lot of people like that's their favorite x-men thing but uh not not for me i like i like some of the more classic stuff but it is cool in case you guys can't tell you get different decades 60s 90s 2000s uh looks like someone's grabbing that Nice, nice get. Great book. Uh, Marvel Stormbreakers. Um, I actually don't know what. Spruce. Sorry. I don't know which uh, what title this is. Other than this, Stormbreakers is just the name of something. Hang on. About to go black. Brace yourselves. Brace yourselves. We'll be right back. I promise. I'm right here. Listen to my voice and be at peace. For know that you are not. Oh, that literally is. Uh, Cap oh, see? There we go. There we go. That is a Stormbreakers uh, for Captain America number 27 which was this book right here, or the Aliens cover. But this is the Stormbreaker Incentive cover. Very cool. Um, uh, no way on the Grant costume. <laughs> is that a Rick Tater approved cover right there? It absolutely is. It's literally Dude. my favorite cover. Yeah, it's, it's freaking awesome. I love all World War II cap stuff. Like, I wish that they would do a new ongoing title of Captain America in World War II. I would love that. Um, it looks like someone's grabbing Rick's, the Rick Tater approved, all right? Um, and then second to last book that we got is we have the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 114, the 1 in 10 variant for only $10. Check it out, guys. Uh, it's awesome. I like whenever they make the team and T like kind of hyper-realistic. Um uh, it's uh, it's really cool, and you get the best turtle right there, Leo, not Ralph Welton, but Leo right there on the front. Looks He's like awesome. Spruce got it. All right, Spruce grabbing grabbing the TMNT book. Good, good grab, good grab. All right, for our very last incentive and possibly the coolest one of the night, possibly, we have just uh, just three of these. I'm going to guess that they're going to go pretty quick. We have TMNT, the last Ronin issue two. For only ten dollars, we'll probably get a cap in World War II cap soon, uh, so don't worry. I hope so. Those are uh, those are incentives, one in tens. Yep, one in ten last Ronins for ten dollars. That's barely above cover price because it's like an eight <coughs> or nine dollar book. Um, so you get a one in ten incentive for Bear. only ten bucks. It's and like, PJ. All right, all three coming back. They out of here, which means we literally only have two incentives left. A Radiant Black and uh, Radiant Black, 1 in 10 and 1 in 25 for 4 and 10. So if you guys are wanting any, that's that's literally all we got left. Look at that. Look at that bonus table. He gone. He is the most gone you can get. But if oh, anybody's hey. wanting. Hey, and you know what that is since they're all gone? You know what that is? What's that? <laughs> Rick Tater approved, man. That's Rick Tater approved right there. Right there. Check it out, guys. So if you want to make Rick really happy, uh, grab those last two. Like I said, you get them both for 14 bucks. That's a crazy good deal. Crazy. And it's a great series. Um, all right, so that's going to that's gonna be the end of our live show. I'm going to do one last hover over the book. So if you see anything that you're like, oh, man, I meant to, meant to snag Justin that. Um, uh, Justin Matchett grabbing the $4 uh, Radiant Black uh good good get good get rick tater approved blank space 
Man, literally just one loan book sitting here all by his lonesome. Look at that. Um, uh, there we go. There we go. Let's do uh, one last slow hover like we were going to do. Um, if you are seeing anything that you are wanting to grab, make sure that you grab that title. We still got one of all the different X-Men legends if you're wanting to read that. We got the Miles Morales over there. Um, we are out of one cover of Black Widow, but we still got the B cover. Um, Immortal Hulk got the Gandhi Kate Store A and B still here. King and Black, all three different covers. One last one of the second printing of Gwen versus Carnage. Uh, Godzilla Venom, it's right there. The sweet, sweet character design, second printing, Truth and Justice number one, Nightwing, uh, Booty Grayson right there, A and B cover. Um, looks like someone's grabbing a Ronin cover A, um, if we have any in the back. If not, we got one on the table still. Uh, yeah, we got a few in the back, man. Sweet Shazam, A and B, uh, Superman Worlds of War, A and B, Wonder Woman. This ah, I thought this was going to fly out of here. If anybody else is wanting that, that is such a cool cover. That Jim Lee recreate with the next Batman. Love it. Love it. Catwoman and Batman and Catwoman A and B. And that's going to be uh, that's going to be what we got tonight. How about that? Let me see if I can switch my camera around. Bam. Maybe. What do, we, what do you say we remind them to follow us on our YouTube channel? we got a lot of really cool shows coming up. You down for yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, we uh, if you are not following us just yet on YouTube, I know that we hammer that a lot, but bear with me. Um, if you're not following us on YouTube, make sure you do that because we do shows like almost every day of the week of this point. And we have even more content creators in line. Uh, we've got more shows coming out. I'm not going to say anything too much about those shows, but we've got cool stuff literally a brewing here at Phoenix Comics. So make sure you're following us on our social media accounts. That's Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Make sure especially you're following us on YouTube because that has the lowest delay. Make sure you like and subscribe to us. Make sure you turn on that bell notification. That way you get notified whenever we go live or drop a new video. Um, you guys are going to want to follow us because it's going to be a really awesome time here at Phoenix Comics. Well, there I'm going to run the video, brother. You know, All right, like, let's see. Just when I think you couldn't possibly be any dumber, you go and do something like this. And totally redeem yourself! All right, well, All right. man, we're back, dude. We're back, but more importantly, we're out. Thank you guys for tuning in to us. As always, we will catch you all next Tuesday if we don't see you sooner for Wednesday on the Rictator Rewind or Friday for the Backroom Live uh, Back Issue Show where you've got stuff going on all the time. So if we don't see you till Tuesday, you guys have a great week. Stay warm and stay safe. You guys have a good one.